Hey everyone, so today we are finally, finally <laughs> going through all my makeup. I'm going to be decluttering and organizing everything. Okay, we went through everything and I feel cleansed. <laughs> I feel rejuvenated. I feel like this room looks so much better with my organization now and I'm just a lot happier and it's so freeing to see my makeup the way it is now. So this is gonna be a few separate videos. I don't have the biggest collection, but this whole ordeal, okay, this took so long to do. I thought this was going to be a modest week project. Uh, no. <laughs> this has been going on for months. So yeah, if you see nail changes, outfit changes, the whole shebang, that is why. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be organizing all of my eyeshadow and face palettes. For all of my videos, you're probably gonna see me looking like this because I'm gonna be doing the same intro for all of them. Just to save myself a little bit of time and you know, to make it all a collection, I can then make it like a little playlist or something. If you're a fan of all the tapping sounds and stuff, I made this video pretty much especially for all of the tapping sounds and stuff. So it's a little bit of ASMR, but also just satisfying to have an organized collection so you don't have to be into ASMR to watch this but if you are I hope it pleases your senses um <laughs> just makes me feel weird you know like ugh. anyway <laughs> if you're into these kind of declutter organizational videos and you're new to the channel why not subscribe because undoubtedly I probably will need one again <laughs> in the near future because I buy way too much makeup. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe, all you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button and that will notify you when I upload. If we can get to a thousand by the end of the year, I'm gonna try and do a Christmas giveaway. Obviously that's not guaranteed since we've got like, uh, maybe like three months on the way possibly. I don't even know what month are we in. Yeah, if you want to, then just subscribe. I'm gonna stop rambling now because I've been talking for quite a while. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this series. Let's get straight into the organization. I'm so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm at my pajama bottoms. Don't judge me. <laughs> and you're at a precarious angle again, so I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see everything and it's okay. <laughs> but let's get on into this, shall we? So this is my Morphe 12P palette. Um, as you can see, it is well loved. I use this a lot for like mixing colors, as you can see, and there's a lot of handy colours in here. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I know I do have very colourful palettes in here and especially new ones like this one. Um, let me just swatch this black just to show you how intense that is. Like, look at that black. It's ridiculous. It's one of the best blacks I own. Um, so this is going to start a maybe pile. This is the Beauty Bay EYN Bright Palette. It's the nine pan one. Um, again, going in the maybe pile because some of these shades were patchy, like this purple one here was patchy when I used it. I have a feeling all of these are in this one, so I can't justify keeping all of them. But let's put it in the maybe pile, we'll go through it. My Soph Original palette, um, I do like it as like a drugstore option. But I'll be honest, I haven't used it that much. I prefer other palettes and if I'm gonna grab one, I usually don't verge for this. Although it has some kind of like unique colors in it. Um, maybe file. <laughs> By the way, this isn't just eyeshadow palettes, it's face palettes as well. So I've also got the Soap X Makeup Revolution highlighting palette. So I'm gonna keep this. As you guys know, this one's well loved. My favorite shade, clearly. <laughs> this one's stay in. My Makeup Revolution Trends Mischief Mattes palette. I never get the name, like it's so long and so unnecessary, but it's kind of like their colorful palette. Again, one I use to mix colors with. Um, this one has been well loved. I kind of want to keep this one because it's a drugstore alternative and it's really good. So this one's staying. The Collection Blush and Glow palette. Uh, I only really liked it for the blushes. Like they're quite pretty colors. Um, but I have similar colors in my collection already and I don't really use this highlight or bronzer So that's way too dark for me. <laughs> so this is gonna go. I don't I don't use it I don't need it. This is a little gift that I had in a gift set that my partner actually got me um, It's by Ted Baker. It came in a Christmas set So it's not something like you can buy or anything, but I really love the mirror in it So like I was using it as like a compact. I think I'm probably just gonna keep it for that it's really handy, you can like twist and turn it. And also the highlight in here is really pretty. I mean, for like a gift set 
thing from Ted Baker. It's really good and the blushes in here are pretty. I'm actually gonna keep this and I'll probably use it in my personal time because you guys can't actually buy this. So it's handy, I like it. Oh, this is one of my first ever highlighting palettes. It's the Makeup Revolution highlight palette, nothing else. Um, it's got these three colors in here. Oh, I used to use this all of the time. My favorite shade was the gold one. Um, it still feels really nice. That's the thing with powders is they don't really go off and it's still really blinding, but I think, I think we're gonna part ways with it. I've had it for way too long. I've got other options that I use all the time. I don't reach for it, so this one. This is gonna go. Hurts my heart a little, but it's gonna go. This is one of my newest purchases. It is the Mama Mama Myself. Nope. <laughs> it is the Me, Myself, and Mama Mama Mitchell palette. I've just done a review on this. Get in the eye over here if you wanna watch it. This is staying. This is insane. This is such a good palette, and it's got so many options. Like, we've got cool tones, and we've got warm tones. Um, I just wanna set this out here and actually compare it to my other colorful palettes to see if there's anything that I'm missing. See, we've got, got yellow, orange, red, pink, we've got peach. The only thing we don't have in the Mama Mitchell palette is a matte white, and the and both these palettes have one. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the Morphe. Uh, I've got this one and this one, so I'm gonna get rid of the Morphe one. This, my pretty, is staying. It's so beautiful, I love it. Oh, the Tan Lines palette by Jouer. I really like this. The shimmers and everything in here are pretty insane and I have used this quite a bit actually, even though it looks like I've barely used it. <laughs> I find these mattes are very hard pressed. That's the one thing that I don't like about them, but they are really blendable and pretty, but you can see like barely any pigment comes off of my hand. I am gonna keep it though because it applies well on the eye, so. I'm gonna keep these. I just realized my mic was twisted, so I apologize if any of the audio was muffled. <laughs> my bad. The Jaclyn Hill Original Palette. I really like this one, and I do go to it every now and again. I did kind of like a full look with these kind of colors, and it is really versatile, blendable, the pigment's amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I do, however, have the vault up here. Um, I was using it for display purposes, um, but I just... I don't know about these guys. They have some amazing shades in here. Like, look at that for fall. Like, wouldn't that be insanely good? I did film a video with it, but then I lost some of the footage and I did like looks with every single palette and I just kind of got a bit fed up. <laughs> like those purples, they look incredible. I know there was some inconsistencies with the whole production and everything. Was it these? I can't remember. I think I need to try them a bit more because I've literally used the palettes once individually. So I'm gonna keep the vault and then maybe I'll declutter it if I don't like them. We shall see, I need to try them out more. I have individual shadows in here as well. This is a Kiko one. It's a magnetic impact eyeshadow in the shade 02, but look at it. It looks crazy, like it would make an insane highlight. Like, look at that. However, I feel like transfer is a problem. Like, can you see that? I kept half of it on my finger. It just doesn't transfer that well. I want to use it with a wet brush though and see if that helps. Um, so I'm going to keep this and it's tiny. My Rachel Loves Pixie Palette. This is staying. This is crazy blinding highlight. So versatile. Love mixing the shades. And yeah, just a really good highlighting palette. The Tammy Makeup Revolution palette is staying. I really love the colors. And also we've got some different kind of shimmers in here, like this green. As you can see, I've kind of mixed the shades. So sometimes I'll travel with this and I'll just make neutral shades. Like I mix the black with the red to create a brown, like that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I really love this palette. So it's staying. The NYX Ultimate Brights. Um, I really don't need this considering I've got the Mitchell palette. I was keeping it because some of these shades come out lighter, so they work better for like pastel shades, like this purple and this minty kind of color, but I just don't need it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. My BH Cosmetics blush palette, uh, I'm keeping this. I take this traveling a lot, actually. Again, it looks like I haven't touched it, but I use this one so much. I use this more often than my individual ones just because there's so many options and I like to mix and match sometimes. And they're very good everyday blushes in here. So this one's staying. Also a really good formula. They're really good. The Makeup Revolution Blush Palette in Hot Spice. I really love this. This one's staying as well. My Contour Palette by Makeup Revolution. Again, a keeper, really good, cool tone, warm tone. One of the best palettes I have. It's just a really good face palette, so that's staying. 
I do actually have a new purchase that I need to involve in this and this is by Smashbox. It's a contour spotlight palette. It was one of the holiday collections I believe from last year and I bought it at a discount store so I got it on sale even cheaper. So this is obviously staying but I just wanted to show you. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is. It's so nice and it's got cool tone and warm tone. Uh, so this is also going in the keep pile. <laughs> My Makeup Revolution Pro Highlighting Palette. Uh, this is staying. This is insane. I really like this. It's slightly glittery, but if you buff it out, it just leaves an amazing sheen to the skin. Oh, this Morphe palette. This is the first ever Morphe palette that I ever bought. And I used it quite a lot. As you can see, I've hit pan on a few of the shades, but I just never use it. And it's really old and it's in the old packaging and everything. So this is gonna go. I have this Juvia's Place palette, which is the Saharan. Um, really pigmented, crazy metallics. This is staying. This black, again, so crazy pigmented. And the actual shimmers in here are just insane. So I'm gonna keep this one. It's my only Juvia's Place product as well. So I'm keeping it. Take Me Back to Brazil by BH Cosmetics. This has a lot of options and these are the colors that the Mitchell one doesn't. So I'm gonna keep this one because it's really good for blending other colors it's got a lot of shades so i'm gonna keep this one my huda nude palette one of my favorites this one is staying um really pretty pinks and glitters i still can't get the metallics to work just right yet i'm still trying they swatch so nicely but on the eye they just don't transfer as well um but yeah this one's staying i really love the mattes in here the most so I'm keeping this one. And then we have the Huda Rose Gold palette. Um, I don't use this one at all. This is the original. Um, I'm trying to get rid of it. I put it up for sale because I really don't want to just part with it. Um, this is a lot of money, you know? And I've literally used it twice. A lot of the shades are unused and I've sanitized and everything. So, uh, yeah, trying to get rid of this one. So this one's going. <laughs> this one is so pretty by Revolution Pro. It's the Supreme Eyeshadow in Intoxicate. Like the shimmers in here, well actually and the mattes, they're just so soft and they just like are incredible. They swatch like crazy, like look at that. They are just absolutely insane. I wanted to get maybe a different colour range in this formula but I'm going to keep this one because it's really pretty and these would be good for fall actually, the colours in here. Only thing is, is I feel like you do have to use other shades in here. You can't just use this palette but it was really affordable anyway so I'm keeping it. Modern Renaissance palette. Uh, I struggle with ABH's formula. I'm not gonna lie. The shimmers are all underwhelming and the mattes I just find I find them hard to blend. And I'm just at that stage of makeup where I just want products that are easy to use and I don't have to work too hard with. Like is that too much to ask for? They are really pigmented but they're really dusty and I find because I'm so fair even the paler shades because they're so pigmented I just can't get them to look like a natural eye on me. Like they always look like I'm putting on way too much pigment and I've tried dusting off pigment and everything I just can't get it to work. But I really want to keep it. <laughs> this is again one of those products that other people were raving about so I decided to buy it. Um, I still want to play around with it so I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm a sucker for expensive palettes because I spent so much money on them so like I just want to make it work. Like is it me or is it the palette? It's probably me but, it, but I'm annoyed if it is. <laughs> I have my Wet n Wild palettes. I have another one somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm keeping all these because the formula and these are amazing and they're ridiculously affordable. I've got Comfort Zone, Nude Awakening, and Rose in the Air. Rose in the Air is my most used one, um, but these guys are insane, so they are staying. My Marc Jacobs palette, this is actually a gift from my partner. Um, which is just insane. I love it so much. The, the formula in these are insane and they're so soft and so blendable and the colors are so pretty. I picked this one, which is Provocateur. Provocate, provocateur? Provocateur? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but it's got purpley and pinky shades and I really want to get a more neutral version of this so I can wear it more, but I love it these colors. This is not going anywhere. Oh my god, I have so much to go through, guys. <laughs> I barely touched the sides, for God's sake. Uh, why do I have so much makeup? Okay, I've got these two e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes that I tried in my trying out e.l.f. products video. Again, we'll link in the eye if you want to watch it. I've got the Need It Nude and 
mad for matte palette. They're really, they're really good formula wise and I'm gonna keep both of them because this one has shimmers in it and this one doesn't so I'm gonna keep them both. <laughs> I have this melted stack, which is, I'm pretty sure the, what is it called, the love struck or something. It's still in its box, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, it's got like this orangey shade in it, a purple, a red, and a navy blue. Um, I really like this red color and I've used it quite a bit and I've kept it for that red color, but I never use this. I love the idea of the stackable eyeshadows and it's got like a little mirror on top, which is super handy, but I need to part ways with this. I never use it. I still have the box. <laughs> I can see if somebody else wants this because I just don't, I just don't use it. I know it's the Love Sick stack. So yeah, this can go to somebody else. I've got this NYX contour kit. Um, as you can see, I loved this shade. Oh, and it's actually broken. <laughs> I actually bought a refill of this shade. Or was it this shade? I can't remember. I bought a refill for one of them, which one cool thing is that you can get refills for this. I found that the contours in here actually started turning pink on my skin, so I stopped using it, but I do really love these two shades up here. I was using this to set under my eyes for a while. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Um, it's definitely not going to anybody else because it's broken, <laughs> but I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. I have a few of these in here, I'm pretty sure. Two, three. Okay, I have three of these palettes by Makeup Revolution. They're the four pound palettes, which I thought were really good. And I have used some of them a few times, but I just, I don't need them. I did really like this one because of this particular color here. It's like a mauve tone, um, but I'm just gonna get rid of them because I don't use them. So, bye bye. I have the box for the Fenty Diamond Bomb because I really thought it was pretty. I like these kind of boxes and I'm just like, but uh, I may keep it for display purposes and then just put my Fenty Gloss Bomb out on display. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile, okay? I know you're fully judging me for keeping a box, but look at it. It's so pretty. I don't wanna get rid of it. <laughs> I have this Makeup Revolution Strobe and Highlighting palette. The creams and powders. Actually, it looks pretty nice. I have never used this though. Hmm. That'd be good for like doing other people's makeup I feel because you've got so much product and they are a really good formula. But I I'm not gonna use this. So I'm gonna part ways even though this white looks pretty whoa. That is insane. You know that would definitely give me a white cast. Um <laughs> I'm gonna part ways with this. Um it's very big I think I had this as a Christmas present as well, so I'm sorry if someone's watching this who bought this for me, but um, I just, I haven't used it and I've got way too much makeup, so somebody else will love it and it'll go to a better home. Got this Barry M Meteor Storm Duochrome and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. This, I try to make work so much. <laughs> This was a hot mess uh, when I did try it. They're super crumbly, but the reflex on them are quite pretty. Like, look at that. They look like they're gonna be insane. And I thought that in store, but then trying to put that on the actual lid, it just didn't transfer that well. So I'm gonna part ways with this one as well. Goodbye. We are making some progress, guys. <laughs> the Zoeva Melody palette. I still have the sleeve on this. <laughs> I have actually used this a few times. I find the formula a bit of a weird one. Like the shimmers in here almost feel putty-like. The mattes are pretty nice and blendable, but I find with the shades, I need other palettes to go with it. I do really like it though, and like the shade is kind of unique to my collection, so I am gonna keep it, and I'm keeping the sleeve. Okay, don't at me. <laughs> like, look at the gorgeousness of the sleeve. This NYX Ultimate Neutrals palette, uh, I never use it. I did used to, but I've got so many neutral options now. This can go. The Revolution Pro Regeneration palette, uh, this, can, this again can go and never use it. Um, I've got other affordable options for neutrals. Um, this can go. The, whoa, <laughs> this is an old one. This is the Revolution Redemption Palette in Acid Brights. Um, I am gonna part ways with this. I never use it. And also I've got loose pigments now that I prefer to use as brights. So this can go. My Nudie Patootie palette by Laura Lee Los Angeles. I really love the formula of this still. It's a really good neutral palette. I do like to take it traveling because it is very slimline. Um, yeah, 
I'm gonna keep this one. The shimmers in here are also really nice. So this one's staying. I haven't even opened this one. This is actually free with an order that I did with Makeup Revolution. Like, why does this have a sleeve and then a box? I, <laughs> why? I have just never used it, so. Ooh, oh God, comes with one of these bad boys. Um, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's going. I'm never gonna use it. This Huda one, the Mauve Obsessions. Um, I used it in that one video, and again, the shimmers just, I just feel like they create like a film over themselves whenever you try to pick it up with a brush, and it just never works for me. I kind of bought this palette for this shade right by here. Like, it's a really rich red color. Um, it's pretty much the only reason why I bought the palette. Um, but I just, I never use it. I can get rid of this one. I'm pretty sure I have other things in my collection that have this kind of shade as well. All right, we're down to the bare bones. Now I have this contour thing with a blush and a highlight from Rimmel. I'm pretty sure I like the contour shade in here. Pretty hard pressed in there to be fair. Yeah, I actually quite like that shade for contour and the highlight I don't think will work for me. Mm. It's a little smidgen dark, but the blush in here as well is very pretty. I'm actually gonna keep this. That'll be handy for travel and stuff, so I'm gonna keep it. I've got a mascara sample in here. That can go. <laughs> I have a NYX individual shadow. This is in the shade Zen, which is like a deep green metallic. It's very pretty. It actually feels kind of rough though. Hmm. Ooh, it does swatch quite nicely though. Hmm. I was actually like on the hunt for this kind of shade, so that's why I bought the individual shadow. I'm just gonna quickly look through my shadow palettes and see if I have anything similar to this color, you know, so I have an excuse to keep it. <laughs> and looking through everything, I don't have anything that is similar to this. This is a very olive green, and all the other ones I have are quite forest. So I'm actually gonna keep this. And it's only small, so I can keep it. <laughs> and, uh... Uh, the Alice in Wonderland palette by Urban Decay with the very extra packaging. <laughs> it is very pretty. I'm a sucker for butterflies. <laughs> because it is limited edition, I do want to keep it. The shades are very pretty and I did use it quite a bit back in the day. I really love that navy colour and this colour by here. Like this palette brings me joy, if you know what I mean. And the formula is pretty decent, so I'm going to keep this one and probably use it in my personal time. Oh, and then we have my kind of Z palette. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, and then we have my Z palette. <laughs> it's a really cheap one that I got off eBay, um, but it holds single NYX shadows, my single Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I've got a glitter in here that I couldn't fit in the other Makeup Revolution one. And I've also got Bleach London eyeshadows in here. I kind of want to get a smaller one of these because I could probably declutter like these NYX ones that I never use. I want to keep my Makeup Geek ones and this is actually a MAC one I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is MAC Kid. Hi, I'm gonna keep this and go through it and maybe then get a smaller one so I can declutter this big thing and it doesn't even keep my NYX ones. My NYX ones don't actually have any magnets on them. <laughs> so they're just chilling in there. I'm gonna keep it and probably go through it and organize it a little bit more. I... <laughs> I don't know why this is in here. I have the Makeup Revolution Brow Tint. I did a full-blown video on this and it turned out a crazy nightmare. Um, my brows ended up turning pink. Um, I kind of want to try it again. Let me know if you guys want me to film it to see if it goes pink again, even though it was a disaster, but everybody else uses it and it looks fine. So what am I doing wrong? <laughs> And finally in here we have a sharpener and that is what all these black bits are, it's just sharpenings. So let's clean this drawer out. <laughs> okay, so these are the palettes that are going into this little thing. I don't have room for my final one, so this one's going in the other section. <laughs> the vault is just gonna go on top as it is. Now we are going to put the rest into my kind of favorites thing. Maybe a little bit of a squeeze, but we shall see if we can get them all in. <laughs>
so I think that's the best we're getting it. I tried to order it in height. Uh, it's quite hard, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but this is my kind of favorites. So these are going on the shelf. All right, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy the series. I honestly love watching makeup to clutter videos and organization videos, so I hope this video is the same for you guys. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a thumbs up. <laughs> if you want to see future declutters, then don't forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below, and the bell button to get notified of my future uploads. If you're watching this in the future and they're already all uploaded, I hopefully have made a playlist and I'll link it in the iView of there, or I'll link it down below for you guys. Here's to staying organized forever. Yeah, <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> but yeah. That is it from me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys.